Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you. I hope you had an, a wonderful event um, celebrating. It is not an event, but a, a memorial celebrating 9-11 yesterday. Uh, I, I am smiling because just a few moments ago, you know, the thing is, sometimes we get so stressed. We get so um, upset, angry, uh, that I don't know if you've ever experienced this or not. <laughs> you either have to cry or you have to laugh. And it can be just about anything from something like such a traumatic thing that happened uh, 22 years ago um, for our country and around the world to something very mundane and something small that it can literally irk you uh, physically, emotionally. And so what does it take when we get to that point um, of frustration, of anger, of resentful, and we think I'm at the end and nothing really matters. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Shut the volume off. Um, I don't know if you've ever been there or not, but I have been experiencing this like a block. Uh, things are not moving. And if you have experienced it, by all means, just say yes, put your hand up, just put a hashtag one. Um, everyone I talk to seems like to say, um, nothing is moving. Uh, I don't know what else to do. I'm so frustrated. I am angry. Um, I'm besides myself. And it can be around for what's happening globally from the earthquake in uh, Morocco to 9-11 to what's happening in the streets, traffic, what's happening at home and so many struggling with the health of a loved one, struggling with finances, struggling with body image, just struggling with everything. And yet when you open the Facebook or you look at Instagram and TikTok, everybody is having a time of the world. They are in New York, they're in Miami, they're at the beach, they're having a party in Vegas, celebrating, celebrating. So what does that mean? We're constantly comparing ourselves with others. As a matter of fact, believe it or not, about two weeks ago, I had someone say, why don't you put a little bit more makeup on when you show up on your lives and everything when you're doing your live talks and all that. Well, I talk about being authentic. I talk about being who you are. As a matter of fact, my tagline is show up, stand up and speak up. And in order for you to be able to show up for all of us, I think, uh, we need to have the strength to stand up. And before we even stand up, we need to have a voice. And it can be either or. It's having the voice to speak about what you want, being authentic with your beliefs and your belief system, even having a voice at home with your parents, with your husband, with your children, at work, with your boss, and if we have been stifled and we think that if I say something about it and ask for help, um, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to feel that someone is going to think I need something, whereas when they look at Facebook, 
and here I am showing off something. I ask for help. It's been difficult, but I have. I have asked for help. I have a coach. I have help with my event coming up on September 30th. And it took me a while, and yet I got there. Um, there's no shame. There is nothing bad. Um, it, it's a practice. Asking for guidance, for help, for coaching, any of that. But more importantly, there is no shame factor. And it can be asking for help with your health, either emotional, physical, mental. You know, when something happens, we're so fast to go to the dentist, go to the doctor. But when it comes to an emotional or mental, so many struggle in asking for that, asking for help or guidance. And so that's called speak up. Speak up because stifling it, suppressing it, it will affect you in a worse way because when we shove it down, when we suppress it, that means we do it by not speaking up, maybe eating, smoking, drinking, we find a way to shut down the voice, the throat, and no wonder sometimes we have problems with our throat area, the chakras in here. It's all energy. When this is stifled, when the rib cage is not expanded and there is no oxygen going in here and everything seems to be stuck in here, we either cry or laugh. Just a few moments ago, I was laughing. And I'll tell you in a moment why I was laughing. You will laugh with me. But that one small little thing affected me for the last three days because I found out about it Saturday morning. And since Saturday and Sunday, and it got resolved yesterday. And today I saw something else and it was like, not again. So, but that's the speak up. In order for us to speak up, we need to stand up for who we are. So when someone told me, why don't you do more makeup and everything, and yet I'm all about stand up for who you are. This is who I am. It's not about having full on makeup. I'm not coming on a newscasters. I have a TV show. I have podcast. I have the Facebook. And yet, this is the best, um, my best authentic self. And sometimes I put a post. I'm walking on um, the path with my dog, and I was going to put a small little story about <laughs> my neighbor's dog licking my face. And, you know, I'm in ponytails, I'm sweating after 40 minutes of walk, I'm in that heat and that's okay. That's my authentic self. And this is why I show up every week just the way I am. Because when my clients come in here, it's not about who you are, where you come from. Uh, it's not about the way you dress. It's not about the car you drove in. It's about what can I help you with? Because when someone is in panic and anxiety or feeling uh, insecure, uh, self-conscious about their body, about themselves, they're, they're having issues at home with the children. It's everything is about what can I help you to feel better feel stronger and feel more empowered as a matter of fact my 3e event is all about that the the mission for the 3e event is exactly that it's the 3e event is an impactful uplifting and expressive event bringing awareness bringing awareness with my speakers, each and every speaker, bringing education from leadership, 
from mental wellness, emotional wellness, and it's having the resources. What I do is bring resources for women, and this year maybe because my 3E event is the last one, everyone is welcome. Uh, men are welcome. As a matter of fact, a few of the ladies who are coming, they're bringing their teenage daughters with them. So it's creating a sense of community. That's what I bring. That's what I offer. That's all I can offer. That's, that's what Lisa is all about. Evoking what was, embracing what is, and evolving to what it is that you want. Transformation from the inside out. So when I say... I am here to guide women uh, to stand up, to speak up, and show up just as you are. Show up with pride. Show up with confidence. So if you have a relationship that you believe it's not working out, look at what you are doing. How are you showing up for the relationship? How are you showing up at home? And it doesn't matter who you live with. If you are living by yourself, do you sit at home and feel sorry for yourself? Or do you enjoy that individuality, that time for yourself? I know during COVID, during COVID, so many were isolated. So it's not, you're free now. You were free then, but you were more free to come out and go wherever you want. And you are also free to stay by yourself. And it doesn't matter if you create that me time inside your home. Me time can be out in your terrace and me time can be just like what I do. Take my walk on my path and I stop, I take pictures. All the uh, reels that you see with pictures is my me time being witness to everything that surrounds me. Everything. So why was I laughing? Because this is one experience that I had last week. I don't know if you've had it. Um, I was frustrated. Oh my God, Sunday I made a phone call to the credit card company and I am not going to name the bank or the credit card. I'm just going to say this is my experience that I had with them. And after working with having a relationship with this company for so many years, over 18 years, um, I got the statement two months ago. I paid off the number on the statement. And lo and behold, apparently between the time that it said uh, they sent the statement and they received the statement timely, timely, right? Before the due date, because I don't wait a day before the due date. I sent it a week before, 10 days before. So they got it. And I got, um, a notification that I owed a dollar. So I called the company, the credit company, and I said, what's this dollar? Can you give me a credit? They said, yes, Mrs. Bullari. Oh my gosh, my name has is not correct. And I thought it was fixed for the last six years. They've been wanting to fix that one on the credit card. They send me the credit card with the correct name, but on their statements, they have it wrong. Back and forth to a point of frustration that I said, hold on a second. I went outside. I was here on Sunday working on my event and I just blew up and I just screamed. And then I came back, picked up the phone and I said, do you have someone else I can talk to? All the way, 42 minutes later, a supervisor gets on and says, well, your balance is at $3.18 right now. Would you like to make the payment? I'm like, are you kidding me? So, yes, frustration, resentment, palpitation, anxiety, getting angry 
even I get angry. And I said, you know what? I'm done. I hung up. I hung up on the person and I said, I'll call Monday when everything and everyone is working. You see, I don't know if you've gone through this or not. So I call and then I'm online, wait, this customer, that customer, and one person picks up with, I don't know, maybe from India, maybe from somewhere else. And I explained in the calmness, in the most kind way I could, because I know the person who's picking up the phone, it's not their fault. And this person was very kind and said, I can't help you. It's another department, but wait, I will wait with you until I transfer. And then he transferred me to the person who says, let me verify you after verifying me, which was another frustration. It's like, I've been verified so many times, but again, it's not his fault. And if we can only remember what we are going through, the person in front of me, the person behind the phone, it's not their fault. That person picking up the phone that is there to help us is not his fault or her fault. And he said, let me do something. Ding, 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 ding. Two minutes later, he says, it's all clear. Our apologies. Because they were about to send me to collection for $3.18. $3.18, not because of my fault, is because the person who said who's going to fix it did not fix it. Because the person for seven years that was supposed to fix my name. So long story short, we get to a point that we feel, I don't know if you've gone through this, but it seems like whoever I speak to this month, this week, especially, there is a portal, there is an energy that everyone is going through. We feel There's no hope. Or I can't see the hope. I can't see where it's opening. I can't see what's, how, how else things can become better. And that anger, that frustration gets fueled by what they see and witness on social media with millions of followers, with this one and that one. Our life is not about them. Your life is yours. So if I can bring a glimpse of hope and guidance and help, by all means, give me a call. And remember, when you feel frustrated, you can't help someone else through their frustration. It's knowing that yes, I get frustrated. Yes, I get angry, but I have become an expert how to release it, how to recognize the person picking up the phone is not his fault, her fault. I am so fast in recognizing that when something is going wrong, okay, great. Now what do we do? How do we resolve it? It's shifting perspective, is shifting attitude, is shifting my behavior, is shifting the way I speak, is shifting my body language to be present with a higher vibration, with a higher energy. And that's what 3E is all about. Not only the support system, the community, is standing up together, is speaking up in unity, is sharing, networking, being inspired. And if you want a place, that's where the place is. Take some me time. I was talking to uh, another person. She is one of the ladies that I truly look up to. And I said, are you coming to the event? She says, Lisa. I work, I'm at work from eight o'clock and by the time we close the office, it's 5.30. I have to be home by seven o'clock 
every day because I am taking care of one person at home, which is her mother-in-law. And then I have my sister that is in Woodland Hills and I have to worry about her, take care of her and she's got someone, but I have to manage everything. So by the time I eat something and I have a moment to myself after walking the dog and everything is nine o'clock. And she looked at me and she says, I know what you're going to say. And I said, I'm not saying anything. She looked at me and said, What's, when is the date? I said, September 30. It's a Saturday. She said, that's my day off. I know. I know. Take a day off and close shop from everything so that we can hug you and you can find like-minded women that feel the same want the same and yet they don't have a tribe to go to believe it or not this is the community that i offer from my experts, even the ladies that are in Powerful She, I was speaking to someone else last night and she said, this is what I need. And I said, by all means, why are you looking so far? It's one of us, the Powerful She, one of the ladies, is that's her expertise. Give her a call. If I can't help, I will find someone for you. So, you can't go outside and scream so no one can hear you at night um, find a path to work on. find a dog so it wiggles and you become their world laugh because dr. story said the best medicine for us is comedy and laughter because that's the flip side of tragedy. When you feel like you can't do anything, sometimes we have no choice. It's either cry or laugh. Just like Leanne Wines, her song, dance like no one is watching you. Sometimes that's what I do. Because the flip side of trauma is joy. The flip side of anger is freedom. The flip side of fear is flow. We have the chance. We have the opportunities if we can only remember. So the next time when you feel stuck, when you feel I am overwhelmed, by all means, call me, email me, contact me. Let me be there for you. Heal within may not be always to heal you and heal a wound, but I am here to help you feel good, feel better, and give you the inspiration, the motivation, the tools, the techniques to start laughing. As a matter of fact, Every time you laugh, every time you smile, every time you do that, you create this endorphins in your body that automatically, just like yawning, laughter also is contagious. And, you know, this is so far-fetched for me to say that. It's like when you laugh, someone turns around and says, be quiet. This is not the place. It's like, I can't help it. Something triggered it, right? So I know being my mom, it's like, shh. It's like, why are you shushing? It's just coming out, right? So we need places to be free to express. And you can express here, you can express with me, you can express by sending an email and realizing it's amazing being authentic. 
you. It's amazing being able to express your beliefs in a place, in a forum that you are appreciated and you are accepted for who you are. That's my message today. Everything comes down to one thing. You matter. You matter to me. And I want you to remember one thing. You do matter to those who truly love you. Even if they haven't said it, shared it, expressed it. Maybe you have to speak up and express it to somebody. And if you haven't, do so today. With that, I thank you for being present on today's Heal Talk Tuesday. Subscribe, join our event. It's my last 3E event. Let us rock this together. My heart goes out to all who are suffering in one way or another. Put a smile on your face and let the endorphins trigger your body for your body to know it's time to move, to dance, to love, to be present. We're present. We're alive. God bless and may the universal light surround you at all times, no matter where you are, at home, in your car, shopping, having fun, or sitting in a corner saying, now what? Until next week. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.